Hello folks, I'm Tim England and this is Ask a Dementia Champion. Sometimes you may hear the term mixed dementia. What on earth is mixed dementia? Well today we're going to have a brief discussion on exactly that. What is mixed dementia? But before we discuss what mixed dementia is, you may wish to review some of my previous videos where we have briefly looked at four main diseases that will cause a dementia condition. These being Alzheimer's disease, vascular dementia, Lewy body dementias, and frontotemporal dementias. And these are only four of over the 100 different causes that scientists believe that will cause a dementia condition. So, what is mixed dementia? Mixed dementia, which is sometimes known clinically as dementia multifactual, is a term used in cases where a person exhibits clear clinical features of more than one cognitive disease that is causing their symptoms of dementia. Generally speaking, one in 10 individuals diagnosed with a dementia will have more than one dementia causing disease. And recent research is discovering that mixed dementia is far more common than previously believed. Furthermore, mixed dementia is more common among the older age groups, especially those over the age of 75. In most cases of mixed dementia, an individual will experience more symptoms associated with one uh, type of disease than the other type of types. However, there will be symptoms present from all types. The form of dementia that produces more symptoms is referred to as the principal or main form of dementia. The two most common variations of mixed dementia uh, involve Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia or Alzheimer's disease and Lewy bodies. However, just to make it more demanding on carers, sometimes mixed dementia can entail a combination of all three. So they could have a combination of Alzheimer's disease, vascular dementia and Lewy bodies. Unfortunately, it's difficult to clearly identify mixed dementias due to the symptoms which are nearly indistinguishable from Alzheimer's disease. And unfortunately, as with all dementias, currently there is no cure. Well, thanks for watching folks. Thank you very much for your support your comments, your feedback, your questions that you're putting in the comment section below. And for those who have subscribed, thank you very much. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please think about subscribing. The more we can spread the word about this condition, the more we can do about raising the awareness in the general public. So with that, bye for now.